sorry i i bit confused the minimum required uh, the 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 spacing required is 2 meters but i selected is 3 meters so i have to decrease the spacing to the 2 meters so i based on this i calculated the uh, spacing and also i am calculating the deflection from the top which is depends upon the factors like wind uh, wind sorry ice loading and the conductor weight because these are the from vertical so i am calculated the deflection factor so these things will helps us to calculate the what is the minimum required cantilever strength of the insulator for the supports for the supports so i calculate the cantilever strength of the supports and next also i am calculating the thermal expansion of this one thermal expansion of this and also this thermal expansion why this thermal expansion is required is because generally this aluminum pipe you cannot get aluminum pipe 100 meters long obviously the aluminum pipes will be a 3 meter long or 5 meter long you will get a pieces only so now you are placing a piece here so you have to give some spacing between this so this spacing why you are meant why you are placing is to for a it's a kind of a uh, some uh, it's kind of additional thing for the thermal expansion so after doing this i am placing the couplers where to place the couplers couplers i will show you with an example and then if my uh, due to the some conditions there might be a chances of uh, the natural frequency of the bus and the frequency of outside can may match and this leads to the uh, due to the some winds whatever it may be this may leads to the uh, resonance and may the insulation insulators will may damage to to avoid this i have to place a vibration dampers if my span length is more than 6 meters if it is less not much required so by this i concluded the sizing calculation of the rigid bus bar see rigid bus bar sizing generally outside they are only they will only calculate the aluminum tube that's it they won't calculate all these things they generally go ahead with a 3 meter spacing 4 meter spacing based on the uh, past projects they are moving at but the actual way of doing the rigid bus bar sizing is this don't uh, uh remember the formulas just see the flow what are the conditions why what are these things are required so uh, be be more focus on in that aspect am i clear team yes i will i will explain you that till now uh any doubts in the flow i will show you an example then you will get a uh, better understanding on this all am i clear team yes no please yeah see the flow that's it uh, we require the flow yeah let me share you that fine so let me share you the screen yeah you can see this one uh, here i am calculating the tubular bus tubular bus for 132 kv pay generally this is the only sample uh, calculation generally we are uh, doing in the uh, substation steam uh, they are not going to they are not going uh, they are not doing all the short circuit force calculation wins everything but at the the way of doing of rigid bus bar is that see here uh, this is the same uh, one of the project we have done 
the current rating which is 1600 amps the short circuit current you know for 132 kv is 13 31.5 k and the duration of short circuit current is 3 seconds and rated short circuit duration is 1 second initial conductor temperature is 80 degrees and final it is 200 degrees which i extracted from the iec uh, 8651 table 6 i will share you this document also i in that you can find this and uh, this already you know uh, short circuit current frequency is 50 edges and the MN or the again, you are, I'm getting from IEC 865 from the mm -hmm. graphs, what I shown in before in the presentation. And this is the current density during the short circuit current. This is for the aluminum alloy, again, as per the IEC 865, which is 83 amperes per mm square. Now I am calculating the uh, area required for short circuit current and thermal equivalent short circuit, short time current, current density, thermal short time strength is sufficient when this. Now let's see, I am calculating the area of uh, area required. So here I require 685.6 uh, mm square minimum uh, that square mm conductor, aluminum conductor. And thermal equivalent short term current I calculated which is 31.81. And 31.81 divided by this will give me the current density which is 46. And this which is 46 is a current density. But what is the current density during the short circuit of this, which is 83 into 1 second by 3 seconds, which is 47. As my current density, which is, this is the, uh, when the fault occurred, at that time, this is the current density, which is less than my material one, obviously, it is sufficient. So, the cross-sectional area is required is and the current rating is sufficient is 1600 amps and the short time withstand current is 47. So based on the manufacturer technical data or is from this catalogs, I recommend that minimum size of the tubular bus bar which is meeting these requirements is this. Which is having the outer diameter of 80 and inner diameter of 70 mm. 70 mm. Alternate size to match the existing design at site is also this which can this can be also be uh, having this thing. this is the selection of my conductor only a conductor selection any doubts in this team clear the first part simple as we done for the conductor sizing similar a bit change Fine. Yeah. Yes, yes, I will share. Fine. Uh, let me share you one more uh, thing um, that was in the one document. Yes. Yeah. So this is a one more example team. Now I am doing in a detail. I, I want to design a three phase uh, rigid bus bar, which is having a total bus length and voltage level is this DIL. So these things I will discuss in next coming classes in installation coordination study. Forget about this and the short circuit current continuous rated current in this so based on that uh, previous example i selected uh, out of this i selected uh, three inch of uh, 240 aluminum alloy pipe and that pipe uh, the physical uh, parameters weight outside diameter moment of inertia modulo of is this this i got from the table 
manufacturer table or in this document also you are having this next this is the table uh, of the schedule 45 table so here you can see the four inch i am i'm selecting what inch three inch right so the three inch uh, cable can, uh, is this the hall the moment of inertia everything was given here fine so next i am assuming that the spacing uh, is 274 centimeters why assumed the spacing is this is exactly the center line to center line in the sense the face to face the face to face spacing depends upon the which parameter it depends upon the bil level of your system so the bil level will get tell you that what is the spacing to be maintained between the face to face face to air a simple formula a bil by 526 will give you that what is this BIL? How I got five BIL 